Good morning, folks. Let's start with the feature from Nature Video that blew my mind. The link to the full video and explanation is found in the link list below, and I highly recommend you click it. Scientists have claimed to map our position in the cosmos unlike ever before, going beyond just the electrically connected web of galaxies, to seeing how the great attractor affects everything in the local supercluster. What they've come up with is a tremendous cosmological feature of wispy tendrils that makes up an enormous amount of galaxies in itself. Our supergroup is but one of two mapped by these scientists, and it is called Laniakea. The top solar story of the day is an M2.5 solar flare that erupted from the incoming southern sunspots. The CME was minor and not Earth-directed. Looking at the sunspots, I will call yesterday the short-range trough of activity as the southern incoming limb looks absolutely diabolical. Good test for the Earth-facing quiet. And even the northern megaspots are becoming visible today, just cresting the limb this morning. Solar wind is leveling off and fairly much calming. Finally, we're free of magnetic instability in the Earth system. Solar polar fields update. It is indeed looking like the last reversal of the North may be the finale. Still got a lot of readings to come, but as of now, the North has stayed positive, which is what we've looked for. The earthquakes continued around the eastern ring of fire with a 5.9 in Easter Island and two five-pointers in the Cayman Islands. Also, downgrade for the ages as this 6.0 was read at various higher magnitudes all the way up to 6.9 by a seismologist rather than a computer. Something dear to my heart, unfortunately the opponents to GMO labeling including Coca-Cola and Monsanto are dumping cash into the issue trying to stave off having to label their food as genetically modified. On top of every other reason to hate this crime against nature, I offer some insight in an open letter about the microbiology issue on our blog. Link to that can be found below as well. Well, Dolly is dead over Mexico, but Norbert is a hurricane in the eastern Pacific, still potential to whack Baja, but also potential to hit San Diego if that one track proves out. Something to watch. The major storm watch today again falls near the U.S.-Canada border as the heat and moisture all flows towards that primary low sucking in. Heed the alerts tonight. The same high dominates in Europe, leaving the same southeastern warnings as yesterday in this area. We'll flip on the precipitable water overlay down under to see the two lows of note for this region. The Mobile Observatory project is in Surrey today, just outside Vancouver. Then it's back to the United States. Got some shots of our star to close. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, 3.30 a.m. in British Columbia. That's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.